Wat zet nu dan? Ah, ah. Nee, die. Okay. So I'm preparing my backpack so it fits to my body and then I will pack it with the entire gear. The stuff you have to access all the time is on top and the stuff you don't really need is on the bottom. If you're operating as a sharpshooter in a squad, you don't want the enemy to know that you have a special function. Therefore, you always want to carry a sniper rifle concealed and you're using this tub right there. So you can carry the sniper rifle on the back. Our primary is still the assault rifle, the STG-77. You know, just in case you get attacked, you want to have more firepower. So we're learning different moving techniques. This one is very low, low profile. At the same time, it's very exhausting. That's the lowest way of movement, which is called pulling. I think at least that's the direct translation from German. And you basically pull yourself above the ground. Group 1, 20 Minuten, ab jetzt. Alright guys, let's get this battle training course done. Here's the scenario. A friendly platoon worked their way into a small abandoned urban area. An enemy sniper took four of them down and now it's on us to find that guy. The friendly platoon left tracks when they were advancing to the buildings. We should stick to those tracks since they cleared all kinds of hazards on the way there. Once we reach the friendly platoon, we will get further instructions. The entire course is set up with lots of different obstacles to challenge my body and me in different ways. Our trainers are watching us while operating as a team to see how we perform under conditions like freezing water, physical stress and so on. When crossing waters, it's important to not get your rifle dirty or wet. First is the gun, second is the soldier. I know you might be wondering why the hell I'm crawling in this cold ass dirty water. Well, there's lots of trip wires above my head, so that's the only way to pass. Let's get my ass out of this freezing cold water. A friendly soldier of the infantry platoon is shouting in my direction. Here's further information for me. He directs me to a safe path which leads to an observation spot. My buddy and me are never moving at the same time. One guy secures, the other one is advancing. The entire course is a physical challenge to me and I have a hard time to shift my focus from my freezing exhausted body to the battlefield. Therefore I completely miss that white target in front of me. Alright, the target is down. Time to move further on. Ich bin 
home. Finally, we get the information where the enemy sniper is hiding. Now it's time to go find a good spot to take the shot. Since the enemy shot friendlies in this area, we have to keep our profile low to not get spotted. My body spotted the target. Now we have to measure the distance to the target in order to adjust the scope to it. I'm using the estimated height of the target to calculate the shooting distance. Let's get this job done. There's something wrong with my gun. I have to eject that faulty round. Enemy down. Je höher der Puls geworden ist, sagen wir mal so, desto tiefer sind die Augen gewandert. Meine Augen sind nicht am Boden, meine Augen sind immer nach vorne gerichtet. As an Airsoft player, you never really get feedback what you're doing wrong. All the feedback you're getting is getting hit in the face more or less. This time it's just a more professional feedback. You missed some targets. I missed the target? No, yes. no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because I was like, my focus was on the ground. And in a real life situation, this guy would have already shot me. How did it feel to do it? Uh, cold. I'm completely wet. I'm soaked. It's getting cold. It's starting to get shaky. <laughs> but still feeling good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I need some dry clothes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Done with the fuel training. Now I can finally take a shower. A few minutes break. Then the night vision training will start. Tomorrow we're gonna go shooting, so today we have to prepare all our guns. Gun cleaning basics, yeah, don't just apply the oil all over the place. First you have to remove the dirt combined with the oil from all the parts. Then you put some oil onto this cloth right here and then you go through all the parts again. SDG 77 got issued at 1977, which it sounds like a very old gun, but when you look at the parts, the way it's built, the way it's designed, it's actually pretty modern. The part is already polymer. It's a bulwark design, a lot of people criticized this design, but it worked. it's working since 1977, so it seems like it's a good design. Um, yeah, feeling tired, feeling exhausted. It's just every day it's getting a little worse because every day I'm losing potential sleep time. That's how I call it. I should sleep eight hours. But I'm cutting down to five right now because I have to answer emails after the training. So yeah, Hello. I feel like this battery that's going like smaller and smaller and smaller. And I hope until Sunday the battery will survive so I can charge again for one entire free day.